What would the future be if love was the rule? Greetings of love, Groundation fans. Here in this video, we're gonna be presenting the second single from the album One Rock, a song called Human Race. Just feels like a classic. Just such a classic, great song. I remember that Harrison came in with the idea. He had the, the chords and the first few lines for the song. I just have to give thanks, first of all, that the inspiration for music and songs, you know, it, it comes to me. Uh, melodies and all these things. And so it was for Human Race, playing my guitar, calling all the members of the human race, can we keep up this pace? Really set the tempo, set the energy, set the groove, you know, it set the whole mindset of the track. And then I worked further with Eduardo and Isaiah. That, that song, that song was pretty well locked. You know, it's a certain thing, a certain vibe you have to catch with this tempo, you know? And we really, um, I remember we, we all recognize it, you know, like, wow, like that's the groove, you know, it's relaxed and slow, but it still has a forward motion in the way we were doing it. The song Human Race opens with this big trumpet and horn fanfare, and it reminds me something out of like a medieval court, king and queen's court, uh, where the trumpets are announcing something really important, but we're calling in all members of the human race. That first bar is like a release, you know, that ba ba pi 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 di bum dum bum ba bi ba pu pu tum chiki tum pu tum pu tum, you know, it feel it, it it just feels good, you know, feels like pure nice reggae. <laughs> Played a rim knock on the end of two instead of just on three. So if you're counting a one drop like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, the pattern I played was one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. I also was using this different sound on my guitar that I haven't really used before. <laughs> This idea to put a string trio on the song Human Race. Years ago when I was in music school studying for a master's degree, I became exposed to the early 20th century composers such as Schoenberg, Stravinsky, Bartok, Webern, and others. And I fell absolutely in love with the intimate sounds of a string trio or string quartet. This is something that's totally different than a big orchestral sound that people maybe more commonly associate with strings. I approached Harrison with the idea and he was a little skeptical at first because strings is not really a, a, a regular sound that you hear in the reggae idiom and certainly uh, Groundation had never done anything like that before. I was like, let's see what Matt's gonna do. You know, it could really be phenomenal and, and something special. I thought that it would fit just fantastic with lyrics like poets, prophets, and musicians all find their place. Sending love into an inner space. Poets, prophets, and musicians all find their place. the verses begin, you know, those sections that begin calling all the members of the human race is like a warning of the path that we're on and the path that we've been on. And then at the same time, it comes to this bridge now. But if love was the rule, would all this remain the same, you know, like a like a dream of what could be possible. And uh, I really love that bridge. It has that two beat little part in it and that nine that I sing in the vocal melody, that suspended tension. I really think it's something sweet. 
And uh, Isaiah really helped to work on that, you know, that before the politicians come in, that kind of tension that that nine over the F sharp builds. And then the chordal walk up. Before that, the cards were moving and they were following the vocal line. But Harrison wasn't so happy with, with it, you know. But after listening to Harris singing the melody, Jah lives in everything. I could hear that ninth in the melody. Before the politician come in, which is um. So, Jah lives in everything. Then, before the politician come in, only rivers and water and mountain divide all of them. The 6-8 part in the middle of the song is something that I was working with Isaiah and Eduardo a lot uh, and Zach as well, just on the groove, the chordal changes and that wicked bass line and you know, it's really the lift of the song and it all begins with that burning solo by Roger. I had worked out like a couple of ideas that I want to kind of try to throw in in some places if I could. Um, I know that Coltrane used to do that a lot. He used to go into the studio with kind of like a bag of tricks he really wanted to try out. Um, and so I, you know, I had my bag of tricks and I was like, all right, we're gonna see how this works. And the two ideas I was working on, um, which I really wanted to get through was, um, it was this one. That one. And then, um, so those are the two that I wanted to kind of get out. Um, so I think getting here on the solo, um, I, I, I go for the first one and I didn't get it the first time. And then um, I played the other one that kind of came out. And then um, the next time I tried that first lick again, it, it came all the way through and it was great. I just put my horn and I was like, that's it. That's the one. Harrison said before before the solo, he was like, hey, um, I really want you to just kind of go for it, right? Just kind of go crazy. Um, don't play anything safe. Um, you know, just, just take it out, just take it all the way out. It'll, it'll be good, that's what I'm looking for. And I was like, oh, kid in a candy store, here it comes, right? Um, and so I was trying to weave in and out of like the wildness of, of the human experience with, you know, mixed with this consonance, this dissonance and chaos mixed in with these very purposeful um, rhythmic overtones. Um, and I thought that it kind of like, it wove itself in and out of the solo really nice. Um, and it, it came out good. I really felt good about the way that song came out and the way that solo came out. I wish almost always came out that way. My personal favorite part of Human Race is probably the bridge section just after the sax solo, which I also love. Um, but yeah, just I love the lyrics that Harrison shows, you know, describing what was created on each day and that mixed with this ascending synth line really just gives the song this upward motion and forward motion. and an uplifting and hopeful vibe. So when I received the demo of this tune, there was this peculiar short little open section that came right after Harrison's what I call the countdown verse. I think the original intention was to have a solo of some sort in there, but I decided to steal it for the strings. 
and it worked out great. So in writing an arrangement, I find that uh, when you have a great opening statement, it just starts to write itself, and that's what happened. So the opening statement was one, two. And it just unfolded naturally. I would say it took me about an hour and a half to write that whole section. It just flowed beautifully. It's a beautiful moment when you have that kind of, what do they call it, peak experience, you know, when you're involved with the music. And it just seems to come from somewhere else, not just from me, but from somewhere else, you know, higher forces at play. <laughs> The horns and strings arrangement by Jensen is a thing of beauty. And Fox, the way everything is perfectly balanced and has its place in the sonic space is it's magic. During the mixing process, we were all receiving, you know, the updated mixes that our amazing engineer, Jim Fox, was producing. And each one that came through, the strings were getting stronger and louder and more, you know, EQ'd perfectly and just embedded into the mix with this perfection. Having the strings on human race, I think it makes sense. I feel like Groundation always has a way of, of finding something to give something classic a new flavor. And I think that's what the string section provides. I think Matt Jensen did a, did a wonderful job creating this this strings arrangement it sets the song apart from you know most reggae songs that you probably ever heard my main takeaway from the song is the unit the unification you know um, that we are all just one race and you know so why are we fighting <laughs>